opinion. Are you worried about not starting a profession yet? Well, this video is the right video for that. Please watch till the end so that I can assure you, you will get a government seat after watching this video. And if you apply these statements, you might have the doubt is it possible to crack Nate in 50 days? Well, it's difficult but not impossible. I completed my portions for first MPBS exams in two months or so. So, need should be a piece of cake when compared to that. And I made a video on my first day MPBS exams. Links in the i card. Please do watch it. And without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing you should do is take mock test. And if you are at home, I would suggest you to take at least two mock tests a day. The first thing is mock test will give you an insight to all the important topics in the chapter so after completing the mock test even if you have not solved any questions on that chapter it will give you an insight so what are the possible questions that you might get from that chapter take your first mock test around 7 or 8 in the morning eat your breakfast before or after the exam so after completing take a short break and start analyzing the result if you have made a mistake in a physics sum, analyze why did you make a mistake. So is it because of a careless mistake due to calculation or is it because you applied a wrong formula. If you made your mistake because of the usage of a wrong formula, analyze why did you use that formula here and not the right one. There might be a possibility that you have confusion between this topic and the right topic, right? So take time so that you clear all the doubts regarding the both the topics and you will be good to go on that question. If you do this for all the wrong questions you have made and there might be some questions you have got covered just by mere luck. There are possibilities. If you got that in heat, well it's okay. But now you cannot tolerate that. So if you think there was a question that you just got covered by luck, go to that question and analyze that question too. So what should you do after analyzing these topics is that write on all these topics in a separate notebook and mark these points in your NCRD. So, the next time before taking a test in these topics, complete those topics in the NCRT before attending the questions here. There are several types and mock tests, right? There are some part tests, there are full portion tests, and there are subject wise tests. If you think you are weak in physics, take physics when you test, and if you are weak in chemistry, take chemistry when you test, and if you think you have completed all the portions, start taking grand tests. Other tip would be take a single subject test in the morning and a grand test in the evening. So, by doing so, you're continuously in touch with all the subject and also improving in the subject you are weak. The next thing that every teacher or neat aspirant would emphasize is that completing your biology portions is very crucial because you can get nearly 50% of your marks of your neat exam by just completing the biology. And you can complete your biology section in just 25 minutes. Drawn be shop, it is possible to complete in 30 minutes. By doing so, you can give this time to physics and chemistry sections and you will also have time for checking all the questions before you start bubbling them. And there are different ways of bubbling it. You can either bubble the questions just after you solve the question or you can complete all the questions and then start bubbling. Each mothers have their own posters and negatives and if you want, please tell me in the comments I can make a video on that. Continuing with the subject of virus, you don't have so much time to revise it again and again, right? So what I would suggest is that Take a highlighter, mark down the important points and write them on a separate paper. So the next time when you need to revise a lesson, don't read it from the book. Just complete these important points and you're good to go. And to have most of your information in your memory, rereading is not a good option at all. So reading again and again is the worst option and science have proven that rereading is the worst option to remember things. The best option you can do to remember is active recall now you might ask me okay how to use active recall well i might give a very simple example there are plant hormones right so after completing the chapter of that plant hormones don't write down the plant hormones name write down what are the plant hormones or more specifically you can write what are the plant hormones that promote cell growth or you might write what plant hormone promotes cell differentiation by writing down specific questions you are more likely to remember the topic and you should not see the book to tell the answer. You should record it from your brain. And the more effort you put into learning, the more you will remember. This also has scientifically been proven that the more effort you put into learning a topic, the more you will remember. If you think you will remember more if learning is easy, well, it's 
not true. The more effort you put, the more you will remember. I told you that rereading is um, not an optimal method for learning. Okay. Why? You may ask why. It's because rereading gives a false sensation of mastery that it gives a false sensation that you have understood the topic. You know why that is? It's because you're familiar with the words in the page. So if there's the diagrams and some of the words in a paragraphs are given some two or three paragraphs, you're just familiar that there are three paragraphs and there is a diagram here, that's a diagram there. You're just familiar with the book and you are just familiar with the book and you're not mastered in that topic. So mastering in a topic is different from being familiar with that topic. Both are completely different. Rereading gives a familiarity with the topic, but active default gives you the understanding of the topic and it improves your retention of memories. So please do start practicing after the call right now. Talking about physics and chemistry, the first thing you should do, take two sheets of paper and write down the name of the formula in one sheet and write down the formula in another sheet. For example, write down work energy theorem here and write down the formula in the another page. By doing this, you will not only revise the formula, you will also revise the concept, what is work energy theorem and you will also be thinking what can we get by applying this formula. You will also think about the applications of the formula. So this creates more effort into remembering that piece of information so that it will be hardwired strongly in your brain. Next important thing is don't think that you could get away with the neat exam by just mugging up the concepts. Mugging up is complete waste of time. Instead of mugging up hours, if you use that many hours to complete even a single topic with full understanding, it's more effective than mugging up for so many hours. I experienced this myself during my neat preparation. When I had an exam down the line on the Saturday or the Sunday, uh, what I would do was just open the books and start mugging up the content. I didn't know that I was mugging up and I didn't know I did not understand topics also. It took me a whole year. I realized just by the start of my 12th grade that I was not understanding the topics. So I had to learn 11th and the 12th portions in my 12th standard. Since you don't have so much time now, even though you learn little, learn with full understanding and don't try to mark up the content. The last thing is solving previous questions and I have kept this for the last section because if you watch any video on YouTube on how to crack me, they will tell you that solve previous questions. So why is it important? The first thing in solving previous questions is that you might get the exact same question from the previous years. The second is that the models might be same. They might just change the numbers and give you the same model in this year. So if you have practiced the previous question, you might not spend time thinking on how to solve the question. You will notice that, okay, this is the same model. So you will start answering the question quickly. And that's it guys, we have come to the end of the video and I hope you found this really useful and please put a camera icon in the comment section so that I will know that you have stayed till this part of the video. Until then, this is Ram signing off from the White Cape Hero.